Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 20 in chapter four, uh, 5. In this one, this problem is a little bit difficult, but we can do the first analysis and work on it together. So first one we look at there is two objects A and B on this slope. The angle theta is given. And you can see for A and B is connected by a cable. And uh, so because this is connected by the cable, the cable never break or become loose, right? So the A and B keep the same acceleration. Do you agree? Because it moves at the same velocity at every point of the time. So acceleration for A and B are same. Now, we, can, we need to consider the friction for these systems. And also the most uh, bad thing is this uh, mu, N, mu A and mu, K, mu B are not the same. I didn't affect much. So now we do the first analysis for object A. So when we look at A, we must consider gravity, normal force, right? Do you agree? And also the tension from the cable, and also the friction by the surface, F, friction A. So in this one, we can see we look at the X and the Y component. So along the slope is S component. Vertical to the slope, y component. So we project the gravity at the s component and the y component. We get mg cosine theta and mg sine theta. Now we can write Newton's second law to solve the acceleration, right? So in this one, we can see in the y component, the force is balanced because there are no acceleration, no motion at the y component. So mni minus the gravity times the cross cosine theta is zero. And then look at the x component. We have mag sine theta minus the, the tension minus the friction equals mass times acceleration, right? And then the next one, we look at the friction. The friction must be the coefficient, we call it mu k times the F, uh, normal force. In this one, you can say we can input the normal force, the friction as the mu k a times the m a g cosine theta, right? So it looks like that one. So we keep it there. This is for object A. The next one, we look at is object B. For B, you can see we first consider the gravity and then the normal force. And also we consider the tension. So this tension is equal in magnitude but offside in direction, right? The next one we consider the friction is still F B. Agree? Yes. And then when it is F B, we can look at this system. We need to project the gravity at S component and Y component. So we have M mb cosine theta and mbg sine theta. Now we still write Newton's second law. First one, we look at y component, we have fnb minus mbg cosine theta equals zero. Then we look at the s component, we have the gravity mbg sine theta plus the tension minus the friction equals mass times acceleration. Acceleration is same. And there, the friction, just uh, we write another coefficient, mu kb times the normal force, agree? And then we input the normal force in this equation, it equals this one. Now you can see we have these two equations. And then just the two unknown quantities, just the tension and the acceleration. I think it's an easy way to solve this equation, right? Because you can see the angle theta is given, mass is given, mu kA is given, and also mu kB is given. So you can solve these two equations to get the tension and the acceleration. Now, when you after you input the Quantities inside you find the acceleration is 3.1 meter per second square and the tension is just 2.1 newtons. Thank you.